Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Fredlin and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft 1.19 playthrough. This is episode 36 and today we are in a creative world for one very, very particular reason. In this video, I wanted to mess around with the 1.2 snapshot here within this game, which should be pretty dang awesome. And I also eventually at the probably at the end of this video here we will go back over to my regular world and we'll go ahead and finish up the storage room here within this episode which should be pretty dang awesome now i will leave a timestamp linked down below or not linked down below on the video itself so if you guys don't want any spoilers about what the snapshot is you guys can just go straight over to the part of the video where we finish the storage room so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this so starting off here with some of the new blocks that are being added we have ourselves the bamboo wood blocks which is very very exciting and pretty cool as well so we're going to be messing around with this and we have camels as well which is really really interesting so we're going to go ahead and use some of this stuff here and see how it looks exactly and we'll probably also figure out how to craft some of this as well. So here is what the bamboo planks look like, which I'm actually really, really excited for this 1.2 snapshot for a very particular reason. And that reason is that you guys know that we are, that our base in our 1.19 world is currently a, in the jungle, which has a lot of bamboo in it. And I think that this will fit really, really well with the build that we're going for here within our world which is awesome so go ahead and build this up a little bit then instead of jungle wood being the primary sort of thing that we use we will be using bamboo planks which is very very awesome now again i'm just kind of throwing something together here not really too worried about exactly how this looks but just want to show you guys everything and we also have these mosaic blocks as well which is sort of more of an interesting design that I think is gonna be used better for floors or something like that. And we of course have hanging signs, which is really awesome. I can definitely see myself using these for the blacksmith that we have in our other world, because I mean, it just looks really, really cool and kind of fits in with the theme. So um, this was just kind of a look at what the bamboo is. I actually wanna do a real a real build here with this and I think one of the best things to do here is let me see if I can find a water bucket I think you um, you might need more than one of these for what I want to do here so go ahead and grab all this and I will place oh no you don't okay perfect place water like this in here this should be pretty cool what we're gonna do here again not really too too worried about how this stuff looks we're just kind of messing around and seeing how these specific blocks look and that actually is working really well for us here we're gonna fill this all in with water we're pretty close here yeah I think this is kind of a very convenient little thing you have here. Nice, look at that. We managed to fill this whole thing in with water. So let me go ahead and set the time to day. Time set day. Whoops. T slash set time set day. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, that might be too high. There we go. And then we'll do this. And then we'll bring this over. Oh, no, maybe I do want it to be one more high. Yeah, I want it to be one more high. Look at that. Awesome. Go ahead and break that down. And we'll go all the way down to here. Sweet. And then I guess I want to do it one more wide. Or a little bit wider than it is currently. Perfect. And now we will 
Go ahead and bring this over one more, or maybe two more. There we go. Actually, no. The whole goal of this thing is to actually have it this way. There we go, perfect. And we'll throw this in here. Looking very, very cool. And then we will do this. Probably bamboo mosaic stairs. And then like this, all the way to the edge. Awesome. And then bring that back like so, and more stairs. Perfect. And now we use the mosaic. Block size the floor. Now, I don't know if you can we can twist these and change how they look, or if they have just the same sort of direction to them always. Let's see. Yeah, I can't tell. No, they do have they they don't have an adjustable sort of chain to them. And then we will build this up like so. And then we also have the new mob that we voted in. And I'm not sure if there's a spawn egg for that or not. There's an LA. Yeah, I don't remember which one got voted. Drowned. Dolphin. I think it was it the... I really don't remember. So, but I don't think that's going to be in the snapshot. A husk. I don't even know what that is. What is a husk? Well, I think that's the zombie that you find in the desert. Yeah, it is. Okay, let's let's see. Um, see, we got to the. There we go. Panda, phantom, salmon, polar bear, pillager, piglin, shulker, slime, squid, stray, <clears throat> wandering trader, zombified pigmen, wolf spawn, trader. Yeah, no, they don't. They don't have it in here yet. Okay, well that's fine. I was just curious. Okay, we'll keep on building here, doing a little miniature build. Perfect. Again, now the goal of this is not to just is not to use a bunch of detail. I'm just kind of having some fun, just messing around with this new block, which looks really, really cool. By the way, it really does look pretty fantastic. And then. I guess I'll place another like this. Kind of have a little open floor plan here. We'll grab some glass as well. Glass. You can never have enough glass. You guys know me. I love my glass. Beautiful. And then for the entryway, I actually do need to kind of back this entryway up a little bit. Um, Place the stairs like this, place this like this, and boom, boom, boom. And I definitely am a fan of how the mosaic block looks on the ground. I think it looks really, really nice. So we'll grab ourselves a bamboo door. And look, here's all the things we can build. We can use the raft as well, which is a new addition. Definitely want to try that out. Let's go ahead and drop that on my inventory. Perfect. I'll place that like that. And then let me grab this glass again. Perfect. Boom and boom. Now, obviously, if I were to actually use this bamboo block, we I wouldn't just build something like this. That's all bamboo because that does look like a little bit much, doesn't it? Um, but, you know, again, we're just experimenting, taking a look at how this specific block looks. I even did a little bit of a build over here. That was at the beginning of the episode, which looks very, very awesome. And over this way, where I just was checking to see if the snapshot actually worked, I did another build using the bamboo. And there's the camel right there. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at those here in a second. 
But if we go back down to the build that we were doing, we'll go ahead and finish this up here with the roof. And see how these stairs look. So we'll go like so. Perfect. Then like this. Looking very, very cool. And boom. Sweet. And then we'll go in one, in one, all the way around. I don't think that this will actually match up all the way, but that's fine. Does not really matter too much. We're just trying to show I'm just trying to show you as many of these blocks as I can, featuring them in the build. There we go. Cool. And then we'll go ahead and fill this in. And there we go. We have ourselves a little mini hut of a bunch of bamboo blocks, which I think looks really, really nice. So now I will go ahead and throw this raft down and we'll do a little bit of exploring around. Ooh, I really like how that looks. Again, all of these things are gonna fit in really, really well with my with the base that I have. See how we look in our raft. Oh yeah, this, the controls are gonna be backwards since I'm doing it from <laughs> since I'm doing it from what the heck? There we go. Since I'm doing it from third person, there we go. Ooh, look at my raft, <laughs> looking very very cool. I really like that aesthetic. I don't know if we can build any other any other rafts here within this game, but let me look it up. Yeah, I know you can only build it out of bamboo. But that's pretty cool, though. I I do like that. It's the bamboo version of the boat. And you can also do one with a chest. And it looks like there's not just regular bamboo wood, which I kind of figured that would be the case, but because that is the bamboo wood. But I was just kind of curious to see if that was actually a thing. Okay, now let's go ahead and get off of this, and we'll place that down. And okay, just so it just it literally just has a chest on it. That's really cool. Big big fan of how all this stuff looks, and it's going to fit in really really well with our base. So now that we have the chance, let's go ahead and switch this game mode back to survival. Set game. Game mode, survival. Whoops, um, before I do that, let me grab bamboo. Okay, well, we can go ahead and get rid of the boat now, I think. Go ahead and get rid of that. And then now we can set the game mode to game mode, survival. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see how we make this. So if we just throw that in. Okay, so it's four bamboo for one bamboo plank. Well, honestly, that is pretty crazy. Although I will say that it makes sense since, you know, other wood types in this game, they require a specific amount as well. So let me go ahead and make myself a crafting table. And we will see, is stairs like this? Oh no, duh. <laughs> that would not make any sense. We need the bamboo planks to make stairs. And I'm assuming that if we wanted set slash game mode creative just don't want to die okay so I'm assuming if we wanted to now let's see if I can set the time again that was weird or maybe I did it wrong time set yeah I did it wrong okay now we can switch this back to survival game mode survival there we go no, that didn't work. It's so it kind of is a finicky thing here. Sir, you have to kind of type it all the way out. 
or else it's not going to work. There we go. Okay, so, oh, I should have grabbed a stone cutter. I think that will get you mosaic stairs, but we can also check and see if... If we can craft the mosaic by just doing another four. Nope. What about nine? I guess we're going to need actually nine before we do that. Sweet. And let's get that out of there. And... Hmm. Not sure. Not sure how we make... Mosaic, but let me go back to start creative Game mode Creative oh wait you have to I Think I understand what you're supposed to do There we go you're supposed to Tab Okay so let's see. No, that doesn't work. Which makes sense because that cuts stone. So what I'm thinking might do it is... Let me grab an axe. And then let me place this down. And then let me right click. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Interesting. Okay, well I'm not really sure how to make mosaic. But I'm sure there's a way to figure it out. But okay, that's a little bit of a look at the bamboo. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are about the bamboo block. I'm Again, I'm a big fan of it, but that's mostly because it fits into the base design that I'm going for. I think, you know, um, depending on how people's worlds are, the majority of people aren't going to really care too much about this. I mean, it's a cool wood type. It looks awesome aesthetically, but it doesn't really fit into, like, I mean, for example, in this biome th that we're in right now, it doesn't really fit too well. I mean, it's a really light-colored wood, and it looks cool. But, like, it'll fit a lot better in a jungle. And since that is the base in the biome that I decided to create my base in, it's going to fit in really, really well. And I'm actually very excited to kind of do some things to the base with it. So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are about bamboo. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the camels here, which is a pretty dang cool mob. So let me grab all the food items that I could possibly breed something with. We'll grab golden apples. We'll grab uh, carrots and golden carrots. We'll grab potatoes. We'll grab pumpkin pie. We'll definitely not breed. We'll grab beetroot. Uh, throw that there. We'll grab berries. And most importantly, we need to grab wheat because... Of all things, I think wheat would probably be one of the better things to grab. I'll go ahead and put this in my survival inventory. Okay, so let's go ahead and drop some of these camels down, and we'll take a look at them. So we have ourselves a awesome camel here, two big camels, which is fantastic. So what we can do with these camels is we can ride them. I don't know if it's because it's survival we can't um, craft them or not craft them, we can't, or we don't have to actually ride on them normally, we can just put a saddle on them. They have a lot of health, which is really cool, um, but they are very, very slow, as you guys can see. They're very, very, very slow, and they don't really move that fast, but still pretty cool, I guess. And if we go over here, we can't put a chest on them or anything, which is definitely kind of a shame, but it is kind of a funny, funny animal to kind of move around. I don't know how common they're going to be either, but they're definitely... They're definitely a pretty fun animal. And if you happen to get off, or maybe they'll lay down on their own. No. But apparently if they lay down, you have to kind of... It's kind of a pain to get them back up. You have to really irritate them by getting them up. But, I mean, it's a pretty cool mob. It's, it's very similar to a horse. It's just slower. And I think has a lot more health. So... If that appeals to you, then it's pretty cool. Um, I'll definitely try my best to find one of these when 1.2 goes actually goes live, but it's probably not going to be for a long time. So, or maybe it's coming out early next year, I believe. So that should be interesting. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see if we can even breed these guys together. Okay, beetroot is doing nothing. Golden apple, nothing. 
Maybe we can't breed these guys. Carrot? No. No, that sure doesn't work. Um, what about potato? Nope. They don't seem interested in anything that I have here, but maybe it's because it's a snapshot and we can't breed them yet. That might be why. Um, let me try wheat and then we'll, we'll let it go for now. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, that's basically it. That's basically everything that's being added, including the mob that we voted for. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I know of, but, I mean, if we go over here to this, this has the sign on it and everything like that, which is pretty awesome. It can kind of show us exactly, and we can use hanging signs for any, any wood type. So, we have, you know, oak, spruce, jungle, or birch, jungle, acacia, dark oak, mangrove, uh, bamboo and then crimson and warp which is definitely a very very awesome things so uh, i think that's pretty much it i think we basically showed everything in the 1.2 snapshot that i could think of if i did miss anything i will leave it linked in the com in the comment section so you guys can go ahead and check out everything else and i'll also leave a link to downloading the snapshot uh, down below in the comments as well but let me know what you guys thoughts are about all the stuff that was added from the bamboo wood to the camels i think that the, these things are pretty cool um and I'm definitely excited for 1.2 to come out, especially with the mod that we voted for, because all three of them looked very, very awesome. And I think the one that ended up getting voted for, which was the, it was like the turtle or whatever it was, was probably the coolest in my opinion. So uh, now we're going to go ahead and head back to our regular Minecraft world, where we should be able to show you guys, where I will be able to show you guys the storage room progress I made in between episodes. So I will see you guys there. All right, guys, welcome into our normal world. And I decided that I wanted to start this part from our plush cave that we made in probably one of the first episodes, which is one of my favorite builds that we've done so far. But I'm really, really excited to show you guys what I have did with the storage room. Um, so in this portion of the video, for the rest of the video, I guess we're going to be finishing off the storage room finally and we are also going to be doing some aesthetics if we have time and I, what i mean by aesthetics is some nature aesthetics on the outside of our base or on the or basically on this pathway by our room here or by the storage room so and we also might find chickens if we have time so again do some aesthetics out here so as you guys can see from the last episode i basically did so i didn't do too much more of this i don't think Unfortunately, though, what happened in the last episode is I was messing around, listening to a podcast, not really paying attention, and a creeper decided to come up and ruin my build. I didn't die, of course, because I had all this diamond armor on, but still uh, decided to get, make kind of give us a bad day. So here we go. Are you guys ready? You probably already saw it on the screen, but here is the final product of the floor, and I think it looks really, really good. I went into a creative world, or my test world, and I kind of played with some different terracotta types to see what might look the best. And this is what I landed on, the dark blue or the just regular blue terracotta mixed in with the light gray. I think it looks absolutely fantastic and really, really, really makes the build look really nice. And of course, we have these aesthetics already making it look very, very nice as well. And I think that this, what this sort of storage room shows is kind of shows my evolution as a builder, kind of using some different blocks, combining some things together, doing building aesthetics, which I haven't done on any of the other buildings you guys can already see. I mean, this has is just full brick. That up there is full diorite. Um, this, you know, I did mixtures of builds or mixtures of block types in this build. Like I mixed, you know, tiles with copper. And then obviously the, in the inside, it's basically the same but as far as the exterior goes like with the regular blocks themselves we didn't really mess around too much with the other aesthetic but here on the storage room it kind of shows that evolution i guess of me being able to mix blocks together and make things look really really nice and have a really solidly I mean, good looking build. I'm really, really happy with how this storage room turned out. And as you guys can also see in between episodes, I was a very, very busy guy. I organized pretty much the entire, my entire storage room. I organized it, um, placed blocks of all kinds in here. We're really low on deep slate though. We need to go do a mining adventure here soon. 
um, have all of this stuff in here, the rarities, etc., etc. Lots and lots and lots of things. And over here, I have my tools, lighting blocks, just so many different things. And over here, redstone, armor, and then eventually, these chests are kind of overflow. So if we fill all these up with cobblestone or wood planks or whatever, we can go over here to these chests. And then these chests are to be determined at the moment, since if we go back to my house, you guys will also be able to see exactly what happened over at my house, which looks a lot different than it used to. And don't worry. What you guys are going to see is not going to be how it's going to be for permanent. Wow, that was a horrible sentence. What you guys are going to see is not how it's going to be permanently. What I'm going to be doing is, in a future episode, whether it's next episode, the episode after, whatever, I'm actually going to be doing a full overhaul of the house and making it an actual house. So if you go in here, it's empty. The only thing I have in here is our parrot friend, a smoker, and crafting tables and my bed that's it so because i cleared out i cleared out this room because what i wanted to do for a very very long time is actually make this into a house like a full-fledged house that isn't really practical it's just a place for us to sleep but looks like a house so this is definitely a, a work in progress for a future episode but i just wanted to show you guys what i did with the storage room and how awesome it looks so for the rest of the episode, as I mentioned, I was going to show you that, and we're also now going to finish the sort of aesthetic areas around the around the storage room, and that's basically going to do it for this short episode. So I do have to actually pre-record two episodes. How did you... You must have fallen down from up there. Well, you, you can remain alive, because I'm pretty sure you're stuck there forever. Um, we still need to finish this as well. I'm kind of, kind of bummed that this still hasn't been finished yet, but... Again, as I mentioned, I think in one of the previous episodes, this is going to be a giant work in progress because books or bookshelves in general, they take forever to actually get in creative or in survival. So this is just sort of a work in progress, but eventually we'll get there. And I think I was saving this book for a particular reason. Uh, we can't enchant anything to level 30 right now, but there was this particular reason. Yeah, I have protection 3, sharpness 2. Yeah, I think that's what that's what it was, was protection 3. That's why I have that there. Interesting. Okay. Sweet. So, let's go ahead and head over here. And first things first, what we need to do is we need to get rid of this stuff here. Let me grab my axe. And we'll get rid of this chest. And we'll get rid of this stone cutter as well. And we will place this chest in here somewhere. Is there any place for it to go? Not really. Okay, so this can go into my miscellaneous wood chest. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this as organized as I can for as long as I can. We'll see if that actually ends up happening. Uh, sword probably should keep on me. Shovel will not need for this particular part. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and whoops, put that back in here. And decide, and where's my tough? There we go. Grab the 13 first. Okay, so, and I have my scaffolding... On my inventory, but we're gonna need a lot more of this. And it should be. Where would I have put my scaffolding? Tools. Nope, not there. I feel like it would be in my. W why is it? In why isn't it in my wood chest? Am I blind? No, I only have eight scaffolding there. I put it in my organics. Okay, that makes sense. But I'm not sure why I would have put it in organics. Whatever. It, it's fine. Okay, so what I need to do with the scaffolding is... I guess what we can do is... Let me go grab my dirt. We can just build a little bit of a border. And I have barely any dirt. Okay, then. I guess we can just drop down. And I can build this up. Like so. Yeah. We'll just do it like this. Perfect. We actually needed to go up one more. Boom. And then what we need to do now is go forward. Can we go out? Yes, we can. Actually, that works. That works fine. Okay, now we're out of... Out of the ability to keep going. P 
perfect. Okay. Oops. It was getting dark. Okay. Let's head back and go to bed. Yeah, again, this has been a pretty long building project, but we are almost done with that. And then we also really do need to finish this ne or nether room still. There's a random dirt block in here. We do need to finish this room as well at some point. I just, we, we worked on this for, I think, a straight, like, three or four episodes, and that was a very long project. So there's still more work to do with this particular build, but we'll, we'll finish it eventually. We will finish it eventually. I mean, the thing about making Minecraft videos like this is the way that I do it, which is sort of long, unedited videos, is that what happens when we do that is sometimes we don't finish things um, because I don't want to be very, very repetitive, constantly working on the same thing. So that's why it, it, we kind of have some gaps like this, but it's okay. Because this is the only way that I haven't been, that I haven't burnt myself out. Every, I mean, every other time I've tried to play this game for a consistent period of time, I've ended up burning myself out. And that's not, not something that has happened. And it's all because of how I'm going about the series. One video a week. Stuff like that. So, very, very cool. I'm happy that it's continued on for so long. Okay, now that one is done. There's a creeper down there. Oh, one shot. Let's go. That was beautiful. And go down. Is this as high as it can go? Pretty much. Sweet. Okay, I I mean, we have unlimited bamboo, so... And I think we do have quite a bit of string, so we should be able to build a little bit more of this. Let me do this one. And we will do this one as well, which I guess freed the cow. And then this one, and this one. And let me go ahead and replant. So I know exactly where these were. There we go. And then, I don't remember how much we get every time we build build one of these. Let me grab my string, which should be in the non-food organics. There it is. We really don't have that much string. But I think it is like this. Let me, let me see. Okay, so it's three and then one. Okay, that's easy. Wow, nice. 24 more. That's not bad. It's really not bad. Okay, but let's wrap around. And we might have a tree built into here, but it's fine. Okay, that's good for now. So now we should be able to start doing some of the aesthetics here. Even though it's one lower than it should be. That's fine. As long as we try and do everything... Yeah, as long as we do everything above this line. Go ahead and break some of these. And then we'll go ahead and place that, that, and then that. And then we'll throw in some of our gold. Probably, probably up here. There we go. And anything else I want to add onto here, onto this little corner? We'll, I think we'll place another gold block here. There we go. And then now for this wall, which I kind of wish was out one. There we go. Perfect. Now we can actually see what we're doing here. Okay. And then, again, everything above, 
everything up every block above where the scaffolding line is so we'll just do kind of random there we go again this is kind of I was planning on doing all of this aesthetic stuff sort of off camera like when I did that really really long play session a few days ago well, actually it was probably about a week ago now um, but the only reason I didn't do it that way was because I was just playing this game for an incredibly long time I think you guys would be or maybe not shocked about how long it took me to actually get the whole storage room built. Uh, no, I don't want tough. I want an anisite there. It took me a very, very long time to move all those items. Um, now, we don't want these things to be two separate sort of blocks here. Can I? Sweet, I can't place that there. Nice. So, I don't want this to be sort of separate, these walls to be separate. So, let me kind of help these flow into one. Uh, we'll do... We'll do an anisite block there. Sure. It's fine. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, again, so it sort of fits in with what we're doing here. And then I'll place another gold block there. And we will place... Yeah, okay, so the whole purpose is to have this... The, okay, perfect. Okay, and then up here, we'll go ahead and place another tough block down. And we, I'll replace this and turn it into deep slate. We still want to have our deep slate tiles here. We just don't want, want it to be all the same. Okay, we'll place a tough block up here. And then I think we'll place one more andesite block. Not there. One more andesite block here. Perfect. Although, that's too, you know, it, it doesn't look natural. So let me place a tough block there, and then we'll place another tough block. Um, how about here? There we go. I didn't want it, I don't want it, really want it to be, actually, you know what, we'll replace this. And we'll do an andesite block here. There we go. Sweet. Now, if I could go up and look at it better, I would, but I can't. It's fine. It's good enough. Okay, now back over here, we will have an andesite block like that. So it kind of flows in to what we have here. And then go up there, throw in another gold block <clears throat> down here. Right here, we'll place a tough block. And then over here, we'll place another gold block. Sweet. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Only thing is, I want this. Because this is technically the ground. Now, are we going to actually have dirt going all the way around this? Uh, not sure. Not sure. So, I mean, we're really going to spend very little amount of time looking over there. I mean, it kind of gives the impression that it has an aesthetic going. I mean, I'm sure we'll probably place some dirt all the way around and have a little pathway here that goes into what will end up being this pathway. Where? Here we go. Perfect. Uh, now let's go ahead and place some more of the scaffolding. Oh yeah, that's right. There we go. We can probably actually break this. There we go. Since we don't really need to be over here anymore. I'll leave it up for now. We'll break this second row, and then we'll head down. Yes, we are almost done with the storage room. Next episode, I'm not really sure what I want to do yet. I either want to go and get... <clears throat> <coughs> Pardon me. 
my voice is tired. <clears throat> I either want to go and get our villagers or Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> Jeez. Well, that's better. I either want to go and get my villagers or I want to start a new building project. So that would basically pre that would basically be a pre villager build. Essentially. Okay, so have a few more blocks to break here. I'll go ahead and place tough. And then up here we'll have and side again. Actually, no, I'll, I'll leave that as deep slate. Perfect. Okay, and then from the pattern that we've been doing here, we'll go ahead and place a tough block there. And then... Uh, never mind, I don't want that to be a three, three broken. Okay. Uh, gold. Boom. And andesite. No, andesite. I guess I, that can be andesite up there. And then we'll do another one right here. And then that will be tough. But then, no, that one, this one either needs to be andesite or gold. Yeah, we'll do gold. Awesome. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back and go to bed. But I love it. I, I just love that combination. I mean, it just looks so nice. So nice. Really am a big fan. Really a big fan of how this build is turning out. And the base in general, how it turned out. Hello, Mr. Cow. Actually, do I have any wheat on my inventory? No. I was going to take him over to the pen. But, I mean, and we're not, we're not done yet. Again, this is going to be... For those of you guys who know who Etho is, I'm sure many, many, many of you guys know who Etho is. Um, this is basically going to be a series like that. Like his Let's Play series that's like 500 episodes long. That is the plan for this series. I mean, at least that's the hope. <laughs> we'll see. My, the next few years of my life is going to be insane. So, mm, see you later. It's going to be insane. So, um, I guess I could talk about that. Sure, why not? I don't really do many com conversations. I just do so, I'm just so focused on the commentary. I'm not really focusing on the conversation. Um, but basically, if you guys didn't know, I'm currently in, in school, in college, which I've mentioned in a few videos. So you, most of you who have watched me for a little bit do know this already. Um, and with that, I am going to school to be a teacher, basically. So I am almost done, believe it or not. I think I have... Well, from the second that this semester ends, which will be fall, um, I'll only have a year. A year from next spring left, which is pretty insane to think about. But once that happens, and once I actually become a teacher, my life is going to become incredibly, incredibly busy. So I, you know, I don't know where YouTube is going to go from that point. Um, I don't know if making this some, well, at least right now, definitely making this something is not on the table. Um, since my main channel is only at 720 subscribers and the main game that I play on that channel or that I designed that channel around is not something I've been playing. So I've been doing a lot of walkthroughs. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Okay, I'm missing. GG knockback. See you later. Just destroyed. Um, so what that what that means is is that YouTube may never be something that I can actually do full time. It'll just be a permanent hobby. Um, but I am what I am doing with YouTube is I'm going to be doing basically a ten year plan with YouTube, which basically means that I'm going to give YouTube a shot for ten years, and I've been doing YouTube for five years. 
Um, and I'm not going to start that over with Minecraft. I mean, I guess I technically could start it over with Minecraft, but um, I'm going to basically give myself 10 years, see if I can make it something, and then kind of go from there. I'll either permanently quit or I will... We'll, we'll just have to figure something else out, I guess, at that point, if it comes down to it, which I really, I mean, I'm going to probably never quit doing this, but when I actually have a real job where I'm going to be, you know, in the classroom every single day for hours and hours and hours, you know, full-time job, <laughs> videos are going to be kind of hard. So that's actually kind of why I'm in a way happy to be doing walkthroughs because, what walkthroughs allow me to do is it allows me to prepare a lot of videos in advance, number one, and number two makes it so that I don't have to worry about having a really good internet connection because I don't know where I'm going to live. I don't know the internet I'm going to be able to afford. Um, I mean, if so, if things I mean if things go to plan, I'm I want to live um, not in a big city. <clears throat> so, or even in a suburb for that matter. So it's going to be interesting. And I am planning on doing YouTube as long as I possibly can. But I know that once I start actually teaching full time, you know, being in the classroom from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Probably won't be every day like that, but, you know, a real job. You guys already, some of you may already know or may already have a real job and know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but it might be hard to do, might be hard to make time to play Minecraft. I mean, I'm gonna have no homework like I do now, but I'm gonna have to be grading papers, blah, 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 all sorts of things like that. So we'll see, we'll see. Again, I do wanna keep this going as long as I possibly can. And if this series could end up being like a 500 episode crazy series where I do it for years and years and years and Minecraft actually becomes something, that would be awesome, but we'll see. So, um, let's see, let me go, so that's gold, uh, let me place an andesite block in here, like so, and then this one does have to be andesite, actually, is there some, I think there's some aesthetics I have to do, no, I, I, I did this already, actually, over here, yeah, right, in this little, this little section that didn't get blown up by a creeper, and then one more down here will be, um, and nope, tough. There we go. And then last but not least, I will do a gold block here. And I think we're basically done. We just have to do this. So this one has to become andesite. And then we'll do a tough block up here. And then down here, we will do a, another gold block. And then up here, I'm gonna go grab another piece of tough. So nice having the storage room. <laughs> so nice, I know exactly where everything is. I don't have to be like, oh, I wonder what's in here, I wonder what's in here. And then we'll place a tough block. There. Mm. Nope. And a site. And then let me get rid of this again. And this is where the tough block will go. Right there. Okay. Sweet, guys. That is the completed storage room looking absolutely beautiful so let me go ahead and quickly check how long i've been recording for 52 minutes wow actually that's funnily enough we finished right on time um the only thing i want to do really fast before the episode ends is i want to actually do this correctly since this is not at all where we're supposed to be going with this Okay, is this one right here in line? Yeah, this this that right there is in line. Okay, let me go grab all of this dirt. 
I mean, that is kind of one of the only downsides to having the path blocks is that if you accidentally place them the wrong way, then you have to pick them all back up. Okay, go ahead and replace that. Perfect. Now we will... Actually, is this in line? Hold on, let me... Go ahead and go ahead and put some of these blocks back. Throw my... Um, terracotta blocks in here. Throw that tough block back in there. Uh, this goes in the nether chest. Scaffolding. Let me pick up actually all this scaffolding. And these bricks. Uh, is this where it starts? Yes. That should all disintegrate instantly. Nope, because it's held up by this one. And by this one. Okay. Last. Is there any? Nope. One more over here. Sweet. Actually, pretty nice having a full stack of this. But eventually, we're going to need to have some more string. Or find a way to get more string. So, this goes in my fancy stone and deep slate chest. Same with this. And now we can grab the horse and the lead. The, how on earth did that happen like that? That's so weird. Okay. Whoops. Okay. Uh, we, I guess we can ride the horse. No big deal. Okay, but he's stuck. Come on, Mr. Horse. Gotta go this way. What? He can't fit through here? Okay. I guess I'll break this down real fast. Come on, horsey. There we go. There we go, buddy. Oh, we can't fit through there. No, 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 no. Don't escape. Okay, we'll take him this way. Guess we'll take him the long way. No, no big deal. What the heck? Actually, you know what? We should be able to ride him. Oh, we can't fit through there. Okay. Oh, yeah, he can just jump over the fence. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So, we will place our horse here temporarily. I guess he, I mean, he kind of is in the way. Uh, no, he's not. He's not in the way right there. And then, let me head back over. I guess I probably should go to bed, shouldn't I? Especially because that area over there isn't quite, isn't quite secure from mobs. So I'm just trying to think about what I want to do next episode. I'm either, I'll think about, so I'll think about it, you know, over the next few days since I have to pre-record an episode because of Thanksgiving. But um, I'll think about it over the next few days, and you guys will just see. I think the two things that, it, that is going to happen is it's either going to be the beginning of the villagers, so I'm going to basically dig a hole and have a villager breeder in there temporarily, or I'm going to finish the house, one or the other, and, like, actually begin the house build. Okay, so this isn't quite centered. So let's do it like this, and then we can go from there. Oh no, it was perfect. Awesome. Although, I want to make it pretty wide because it just looks kind of weird. Too wide like that. Perfect. 
Um, but that also looks kind of weird. But don't worry, it only looks weird because we haven't really done... We haven't really done any aesthetics yet. So it, it'll look better here soon. Don't worry. Perfect. I wish that string was a little bit more invisible, but it's fine. So yeah, again, maybe next episode what we'll do instead of starting a new... Well, I guess we could technically do both. I think what I'll do is I'll do some sort of aesthetic decorations around here, place some bamboo, trees, etc. Water, waterways like what we had, like what we have over there. And then we'll probably maybe begin a new building project. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for the next episode of my Minecraft 1.19 playthrough. I really hope you guys did enjoy this next episode. Um, also, I think I should have mentioned it in the beginning. Maybe I did, I don't remember. Um, but I should have mentioned that we are having a new day for this series. It's going to go up every single Tuesday at 8.30 p.m. Um, Mountain Time, which is 10.30 a.m. on the East Coast and 9.30 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. on the Pacific Time. And I'm not really sure what that is over in the U.K., but it'll go up at the same time. And I, the reason that I decided to switch to Tuesdays, I mean, it's pretty simple, really. Uh, Mondays mean that I have to have a video recorded on the weekend before that Monday, which means if I happen to not be able to record for whatever reason, I'm screwed. So I thought if I give myself Monday to record these episodes and have them go up on Tuesday, then that would be better. So Tuesday's the new day. And then, of course, it still gives a nice gap in between the Tuesday episode of this and the Friday episode of Pixelmon. But um, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did like this, always appreciate it. If you want to check out any of my other previous episodes of my Minecraft 1.19 series, they will all be linked down below. Put in the playlist in the description. I'll really also be at the end of the video for you guys to check out as well. And this guys all another episode of my Minecraft 1.19 series. See you very soon.